it's me Mark Hoyle here again uh, on today's video what I'm going to be trying to show you is how you take your hand-drawn pottery illustration and turn it into a vector based illustration vector based just means kind of lines drawn on the computer so when you um, print them off there's there's kind of no kind of loss of quality they stay kind of kind of true so what I'm doing is using Illustrator Adobe Illustrator to do that um, so I've set up an A4 workspace what I'm going to do here is kind of open up um, the pens that I've created so I've got a graphic style libraries user defined and I've got a set called arc pens so when I load those pens in they're going to kind of mirror uh, what I use manually so a, a rotary ring pen so 0 0.18 kind of 0 0.35 0 0.25 0 0.5 pens so with those pens kind of loaded now I'll just dock them to one side and I'm going to go to the layers palette now in the layers palette, I'm going to create the layer I've got and call it scan. Now scan's obviously just to put the scan in itself. So I've pasted the scan in. I'm going to reposition that and I'm going to rescale it for publication size. Now I'm going to reduce this down to 25%. So hopefully when I get this on screen, you should be able to see the kind of reduction itself. So the, the reduction at 25% is just for publication. So that's the kind of final size it will be for publication. So I'm going to lock that layer now and create a second layer. Now give it a name, give it whatever name you like. Sometimes I call it working, sometimes I just leave as layer two. And I'm going to zoom in. So I'm zooming into the hand-drawn scanned illustration I've got. I'm going to go back to the stroke and I'm going to apply a pen. Now you can see in the pen tool palette the fill is empty and the stroke is now active so I'm going to select a pen tool and I'm just going to start to trace around this object when I zoom in a bit more that's better um, I'm just going to start to trace around so by dropping anchor points on the uh, wall of the vessel the sketch of the vessel I'm going to start to stretch these anchor points out to create a really really smooth line uh, these to show the kind of direction the pot should be continuing in so with the vessel selected I shall now um, click on what I've got and I'm going to mirror these so I've selected everything I'm going to go to the mirror tool the reflect tool now using the center point I created in the pencil drawing by reflecting that a uh, line drawn across to the other side it should mirror exactly what I've got on the pencil sketch so now I have the kind of the basic scaffolding for my uh, vector based illustration I'm going to change that to a fill as we have there now on the outside of the vessel I'm going to start to do some slight modifications and, and kind of changing around some lines so by using the scissors tool I'm going to kind of cut the section at the top and then again towards the bottom so by selecting the um, pen again changing it to a 0.35 thickness I'm going to add in uh, the kind of line of the rim so, so the kind of base of the rim is going in don't worry if the pen's too thick you can just change the thickness of the pen and I'm just going back through and adding in more pencil detail that I created to create this drawing in the first place so there you go I'm just adding in uh, some some further lines there and, and there we have a kind of very basic uh, model so by switching off the scan layer we just have the vector visible now what you can do is zoom out a little bit and select all and group and so you're grouping everything together as one object which allows you to move it around the page now when I create layouts uh, of pottery I, I kind of do it in Illustrator and it gives you the option to just be able to kind of move everything around um, so I hope that was a useful kind of introductory tip to using kind of vector based packages to create a pottery drawing uh, thanks for watching please like subscribe to see more bye